Hello. I was talking with my friends yesterday about Loki and my friend said that my theories were kind of legit and maybe potentially could happen. So I'm gonna share my theory about who I think the sort of like final boss character is gonna be for Loki. Obviously spoilers for episodes one through five of Loki. If you haven't seen those yet, you're gonna wanna put this video in your watch later and come back to it after you're done. Okay, so episode five ends with Loki and Sylvie going toward that big castle tower thing. And everybody's wondering who's in that tower because whoever's in that tower is probably responsible for the TVA. Some people are thinking it's gonna be a character from the comics we haven't seen yet. Some people are thinking it's a Mobius variant and other people are thinking it's a Loki variant. Now I am thinking it's a Loki variant but not the Loki variant that everybody is expecting. I think that the person in the castle is specifically a female Loki variant. Throughout the show, a whole bunch of characters have commented about how Sylvie being female is kind of unique for a Loki. There's also this question of what her Nexus event was, and I think that this could potentially tie into that. I think that this could definitely be some sort of time loop style story where Sylvie is gonna go in and is supposed to replace the person who's currently in the castle, but whether or not she's actually going to go through with that or she's going to dismantle the whole organization is kind of up in the air right now. There's also the matter of Miss Minutes, who's voiced by Tara Strong. In addition to being an amazing voice actress, Tara Strong also acts in general, like as a physical person, and she teased in an interview that there's a lot more behind Miss Minutes that we haven't found out yet. What if the real character behind Miss Minutes is the Sylvie variant in the castle? This would tie up so many loose ends. Like when Loki asks Miss Minutes if she's like a real corporeal being or if she's not, she gives kind of a really vague answer. Miss Minutes is also just kind of really shady in general. I also feel like Tara Strong looks kind of similar to Sofia DiMarchino, who is the actress who plays Sylvie. With the right hairstyle and makeup, I could definitely see these two as variants of each other. There's also the matter of Sofia DiMarchino's casting. She was chosen extremely quickly to play Sylvie, and a lot of people were confused about why why they made the decision to pick her so quickly. But if they were specifically looking for somebody who looks a little bit like Tara Strong and also a little bit like Loki, it makes sense that their pool of actresses to pick from would be kind of small. Basically, if it is Tara Strong as a Sylvie variant in the castle, it's gonna tie up a whole bunch of loose ends, both for things that are happening in the show and for some of the things happening outside of the show with casting and stuff like that. But I guess we'll find out tomorrow. My friend said I had to make this video like now before the episode comes out because, you know, if I'm right and I make it after, people are gonna just be like, oh, you're lying, you watched the episode, so. If you like this video, click that like button. I usually make videos about Pokemon and Animal Crossing, though if this video does well, maybe I'll make more videos about Marvel, so make sure you subscribe. Bye.